Now the new tube, I'm the Toffman and welcome back to some more Heath Rangers. It is part two of the Ultimate English Challenge Season 2. And uh, we are Heath Rangers and we're doing very well, actually. We are doing very, very well indeed. Let me show you exactly how well we are doing. Finances, as you can see, the finances are looking pretty decent, actually. We're getting a steady overall plus in the uh, in the balance. We're now no longer in the red. We are in the black, which is great. So that's also, that's on the plus, which is fantastic. And we won't actually lose any money, uh, really, over the course of anything. Because everybody's free. Everybody is, uh, you know, on non-contracts. That does mean that they can get pilfered and so on and so forth. But let's take a look at how we've been doing in the, uh, the games that we've played. So I've played quite a few. Um... That, there was the last game that I played on camera. It was an extra time, Skeins Hill. Uh, we managed to win that one. Was it was it Skeins Hill or was it Mersfield Village? I can't remember which one I showed now. I'm pretty sure it was Skeins Hill. Um, and we won that one, 1-0 one in extra time. Jake Beecroft with the goal. So I've had quite a few games. I've never lost one single game so far. I've come close, but I've never lost one. Um, Mersfield Village, the first game that we played. Spendlove, Junior James and Jake Beecroft uh, scoring the goals for us there. But Mar Marsfield Village getting Mersfield. Marsfield? I don't really know. Either. But um, getting quite a lot of shots there. Now, I did experiment a little bit, and I, th I believe that we were pretty decent in defence, um, as you can probably see, with all the nil, 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 nil down here. Um, but... We weren't that fantastic in attack, so I changed the tactic around a little bit to a 4-1-2-3-1. No, that can't be right. 4-1-3-1. No, 4-1-2-3. What the fuck is it? 4-1-2-3, <laughs> that's the one. 4-1-2-3, as you can see. Um, instead of the 4-2-1-3. It, it's a slight little change, but it means I've got more bodies because they immediately sit back because we're such a better team um, that their defence just sits back. And we've got James all alone amongst four different people. And um, Williams comes in every now and then, and uh, Spendlove comes in now and then. But these two, um, on this kind of formation, there was only Phillips, really, in the hole. And I want more people in the hole. That's what she said. That is, that's definitely what she said. Um, okay, so, yeah, I wanted more people in the hole. So Phillips and Beecroft are now, you know, floating around here. And it just means that these defenders have got more to think about. So with that, guys, um, it made a good change. Skins Hill, two goals. Junior James with both of those goals. And what a player he is as well. But he seems to be a little bit, um, what's the word? Uh, world, word, inconsistent. Uh, Junior James, as you can see, 6.6 .6 in this game. He doesn't seem to want to play um, every now and then. It just... He says, no, you know what, today I don't feel like it. He did go for an injury as well, look, look at that. 90 plus first minute, he got a concussion and uh, he was out for the next game. So Alex Stavrino and Junior James scoring the goals there. Uh, but as you can see, lots of shots, lots of long shots. And I've been trying my damnedest to counter those, but it just doesn't seem to um, make any difference to my stuff. So in my instructions, I've got work into the box. Work the ball into the box. So don't take a load of fucking long shots. Work the ball into the box. Do they fucking do it? Do they fuck? They don't give a flying fuck about my tactics. They just bang it from fucking anywhere. Um, so they don't do that. But I've also done it to shoot less often on the two attacking midfielders. Uh, or the two midfielders that I've got on there. Um, so there's that, you know, there's that as well. And I've also told them to push forward. So if they are going to shoot... They're going to be further forward on the pitch if they do try to shoot. But it just doesn't seem to make any fucking difference, guys. I've got long shots left, right and centre. So, fair what? We actually w uh, won the first round of the Brian Hill Challenge Cup as well with a 2-0 win. Danny Spendlove and Dan Bent. And, of course, we didn't have what's-his-first because he was out injured at this point. 2-0 um, in the league. Ashurst Wood, uh, Darren Ebsworth, uh, Jake Beecroft. Again, we didn't have what's-his-first because he was injured at this point. <laughs> Oh, I've got one hell of a cold, guys. Do my head in. Right, 2-1 against Fair Warp. Danny Phillips and Aaron Williams. Now, Junior James did come on, but he left uh, the match because he wasn't that fully fit. So, and he was not playing that great. But that was the 2-1 win. Uh, AFC Uckfield in the Mid-Sussex Junior Cup second round. That was a 1-0 win. And it was an own goal, actually, that took us into the next round. A lot of shots, not many on target. And that is basically what I'm looking at at the minute. Uh, th that's just basically how things have ended up. So, as you can see, 3-1. Carl Long's own goal. Junior James getting back on the score sheet and David Wareham. Um, 
doing that one. And then a 4-0 massive win against Buxted 3. But look at this. Junior James with his first hat-trick for Heath Rangers. What a fantastic player. And Jordan Harrison with a penalty um, in the 79th minute to, uh, to get us that. But that was much better to see. 12 shots, 8 shots on target. However, it's now Brian Hall Challenge Cup second round day today uh, against Barcombe 2, who incidentally are in the Mid-Sussex Football League Division 8, so they're one division ahead of us. Even though Barcombe doesn't, they don't seem to have a full squad. Not quite sure what happened there. But um, they don't seem to have a full squad to put together. Um, not of real players, at least. So, back home. In the Brian, Hill, Ch uh, Brian Hall Challenge Cup second round. Let's go for it. And here we are, starting the game against back home two. Um, we are playing in the blue against back home in the yellow. Let's skip this a little bit because it's really annoying. Um, fingers crossed we have a better game than what we did last time. I think we had a lot of... Um, we didn't have a lot of key highlights, if I remember correctly. So, for a decent number of shots, but most of them are long-range efforts. What changes does it make there? It's told me to make a change. Work the ball into the box. Now, I've tried doing that, but it just does not friggin' work for me. And it looks as if we're going to go through this entire first half with no um, key highlights. But here we have one. Spendlove, who's been a brilliant, brilliant assists man for me. Wha wax it up towards Junior James. Lead scorer in the league so far as well. Williams, Phillips, oh that's a smashing goal from Phillips on the outside of the box there, it really is, and Danny Phillips, it's been a while actually since he's scored, but uh, that's his second goal of the uh, of the cup, is that the second goal of the cup or the second goal of the season did it say that, I can't remember, but Williams being unselfish there, but look at that, the goalkeeper had no fucking chance, blasted off the boot of Phillips, and it's in for 1-0, and is that going to be, look at this, seven shots, one on target, five fucking long shots, what? Stop it. Stop doing your fucking... Six long shots now. Oh, my fucking Lord. I've had enough of this shit. Why are they doing that? Why? There must be some rave... Guys, in the comments section below, please let me know why the fuck they are doing that shit. Why the fuck they are doing that shit? Let's just have a look in the player um, things. So, I know I've got to add this actually in. So, shoot less often. Get further forward. Right? You... Shoot less often. Also get further forward. These guys have got the cross more often. They haven't got to shoot less often on. I think what I'll do... What, they've got the stay wide on, not the get further forward. Okay, well that's not too bad. I'll do these shoot less often. What's this? I can hardly read the fucking writing in here. Run wide with ball. Okay, well, that's fine. Um, shoot less often. And also on this guy here... To shoot less often. I want you to pass more often. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed, guys. Right, let's do that. Made some tactical changes. I can't believe six fucking long shots, guys. It's unacceptable. It really is. I can't stop them from doing long shots as well. It's so annoying. Maybe it's just because they're just so low down in the leagues that they just don't give a fuck about tactics. I mean, let's be quite honest, guys. It's like, you know, Sunday League football. Bradbury with the ball in... Oh, and it's ended up as an own goal, and Rowe has had a fantastic season. What the fuck? That did not come off Dunmore. Surely not. Oh, Rowe's gone to clear it, and Dunmore's just stood in the fucking way. Are you having a jeer? Are you having some sort of fucking jeer? I can't believe we've only had one shot on target as well. Unbelievable. Bachelor. He's actually um, a Nigerian under-18s international player, his bachelor. It's cra absolutely crazy. Dwight Gales made the drop down into League 22. <laughs> it's a nice header down, that. Spend love. Beecroft. But, I mean, oh, that is a quality ball over the top. James, Junior James, and I would have bagged him to score that. I would have bagged him to score that. That was a fantastic ball over the top as well. Just such a shame that he didn't manage to finish it there. Nine shots and only the one on target. Right, Junior James, you're going to make way for Jordan Harrison. Not the most fantastic of players, it has to be said. But Danny Spendlove hadn't had a great time either. Let's bring Dean Mason on for the rest of this half. And uh, fingers crossed we can win it before extra time comes up. It'd be nice. If we get kicked out of this cup, guys, it's not the end of the world, but I would like to win it. Cups mean, uh, mean Wongridge. Well, at least I think so. Oh, your bow is looking absolutely wrecked. 
Right, let's take uh, James Yeboah off, actually, and get Dan Bent on. Fingers crossed we don't get any more injuries or another yellow card for Ebsworth or, Stav uh, or Stavrinu. As we go into extra time, let that guy take it. Look to gain confidence, is what I see. And let's start the extra time. So it's not the second, to, it's not the uh, the first time that we've been in extra time, guys. And I'm pretty sure it won't be the last. Here's Bachelor, Nigerian under 18s international player. We can say, guys, that we've got an international guy playing for us. There's Phillips. I mean, look at the amount of space that we've got between the wingers and uh, and the midfielders. Oh, that's a quality ball. And Harrison, it's a corner. <coughs> I was looking for him to poke that into the back of the net there. Um, you don't usually score a corner. Oh, my goodness gracious me. That was very, very close indeed. What a save. Still not quite. Look at this. 20 shots and only six on target. You watch. These fuckers will get one more chance and that's it. They'll get one on target. And then that'll be it, guys. Game over. But nine long shots is an absolute joke. And I really don't know why. I honestly just do not know why. Let's just go into attacking, get further forward and see if those long shots can actually create into uh, semi-long shots, not actual long shots, if you know what I mean. That's Harrison. Go on. He's running. Oh, the ball was there to be made. What the fuck was that? Nobody knows, Mason. Ball in. It's gone flying. <sighs> dear me. Dear, dear me. Looks like we might have to go to Jeff's, actually, guys. It is. It is the drama of Jeffrey's. Let's get rid of these and auto pick. And then let's start the penalty shootout. So, first up is Enser for uh, back home. Oh, slides it in the back of the net. Now, I have had a good history of penalties. I've had one saved. Harrison. I've had my goalkeeper save one of the uh, the penalties that we've had in, in games before. Fell. Oh, Rick. Fucking. What are you doing, goalkeeper? Stab renew. Oh, he switched it up. He's going to fuck it up, isn't he? No, he's not. Stavrinu slides it in. It's two all. Jack Jones. I don't know if that's his first name. I'm just making it up. Jones. Oh, oh, he's missed. I thought that was in. Adam Jones misses the Jeff and Mason, who's come on as a substitute. Oh, and he's put us 3-2 ahead. Could this be it now, guys? If there's a save on here or a miss, we're through. Dunmore. Goalkeeper saved it. It's 3-2 and there's no possible way of coming back into this if Beecroft can score. Beecroft, straight down the middle. It's 4-2. It's game over. Back home, one. Heath Rangers won. And Jeffs, it went down to. And we won 4-2 on Jeffries. Um, I think we can be pleased indeed. Right, let's go to the post-match analysis. 21 shots. That's a lot of shots. Not very many of them on target. Disappointed at that. I think we've got to need we need somebody with a little bit more composure in front of goal and also a bit better finishing than we, what we've got currently. So if we leave the match, guys, um, yeah, win. That means we meet Fletching two in the quarter final of the Brian Hall Challenge Cup, the coveted trophy. So let's just have a look at the uh, the squad at the moment, guys. Junior James here. So, as you can see, his finishing is actually pretty good. 13, but his composure is utterly terrible at, um, at only 5. His acceleration good, pace good. is a decent, decent guy to have around. Um, Jordan Harrison, his finishing is 11. His acceleration and his pace are pretty decent as well. But again, his composure lets him down. But the problem is, the main, main problem is these fucking long shots. Because they're making so many long shots. That's creating so much um, efforts that should be going on target to be completely wildly off target. Because these are like... like you know, way, way, these are like fucking amateur people, you know, taking massive long shots, it's just ridiculous, you want to be working that ball into the box as much as you possibly can, and they just do not do that, I'm going to have a look online, see if I can find anything, but guys, in the comments section below, how the fuck do you stop them doing long shots, is it my formation, is there something wrong with my formation, um, do I have to do some sort of specific instructions to make them stop fucking doing it, I don't know, but guys, let's have a look at the um, the league. As you can see, we're massively at the top, guys. We've played eight, we've won eight, and got 15 goal difference. We've lost absolutely nothing, and we've won all of these games. And that's ledge. We've got double the amount of points. <sighs> yeah, really. 
that came out of nowhere. We've got double the amount of points as what book, books did. Uh, not busted. I've got books that have got at the moment. So we're doing very, very well indeed. But anyway, guys, <coughs> that is going to be it for the end of this particular episode. Ah, oh, and I'm glad, really, because my cold is getting just bloody worse. And I can't friggin' record for long because my voice goes all funny. So anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in part three. Until then, if you've enjoyed the episode, please go ahead and leave a like. And I'll be the tough man, as always. Stay safe.